Welcome back to the Halftime Report. Shares of Tesla, there they are today, up more than 3%. That follows an upgrade at Canaccord Genuity to a buy. The firm sees more than 40% upside from here. They say 2019 should be more stable with fewer concerns for investors. We've made it our call today. What do you think about this one, Jim? Well, I have three percent upside this. on this. Call? I read this and I said, "Geez, does they, maybe they have a better balance sheet than Ford?" <laughs> <laughs> this guy is using a fifteen dollar and two cents. Of course, I had the two cents uh, for fiscal year twenty EPS. This guy is a bear's nightmare. I mean, because like a bear would say that they're going to lose fifteen. This guy's going to make. 15. I found this very encouraging. The thing I found most encouraging, frankly, is something I don't know that a lot of people picked up. Larry Ellison playing a real role on the board. Ellis, you can't mess with Ellis. Yeah, they do mention. They do mention. That's why they say a more stable yeah. year ahead. Is more now, stability Ellis, at the upper levels of this company enough to get the stock moving? You know, the know, fundamentals. It, it does have a, a bond you know, issue, but they do have the cash for it. And I just think that there's this kind, this really interesting notion that maybe, maybe Musk has calmed down. Now, then, against that, I think it's more than Ellis. maybe actually. Yes, right. Yeah. Is that enough? I think it certainly helps, and I think, that, like, he, like you it's just mentioned, Larry Ellison and some of the independent board members that are there, Scott, that I think can, can rein this thing in. But the, I think the biggest key right now, what we're seeing is cash generation. This is something yes. we had not seen to this level in this name, and now all of a sudden, they're actually getting some cash into the system. So at $3.7 billion of cash, I know they've got big debt, I get it. But it's something they hadn't had before. And to your point about Ford, they might be better positioned than Ford right now. It Jeez, would be nice Ford. if Larry Ellison focused on his own company and his own stock. And get oh, that so, man. Oh, to me, Jeez, I don't think Jeez, Bob, Bob, you're never old. Oh, man, you, there's well, a whole well, island in Hawaii. Well, you better never go to. Look at Oracle stock, guys. I mean, that stock has been a terrible performer, such an underperformer relative to the rest of the space. And they have cloud exposure. If yes. they're not going to deliver yeah. now, when the heck when? are they going they're to They're too deliver? busy making fun of a Neil Bushry and Workday. <laughs> oh, my. They just oh, yeah. Good work day. I mean, like, every time they bash it, it goes higher. <laughs> the I think you forgot Mark Kurt. I guess Mark Kurt, I think it's not sorry, necessarily. No, that's right. a great call. I mean, he might be You're the right. adult in the room, but on a relative basis, that doesn't say much because you have, it's Musk. Oh, jeez. Oh, you sound like me. I would never do it. I used to, I used to trash him. <laughs> it's a, you know, I, I went to Hawaii. He owns a lot of Hawaii. A lot. Got to be very careful. <laughs> he and Oprah. <laughs> Scott, Look, what, what you're seeing here, I think, with, with Musk was, Last year, 2018, if he hadn't had that meltdown where he basically, you know, deals know funding secured, yes. if it wasn't for that, um, I think the stock would be over 400 right now, mm. right now. Uh, but it's had to deal with all of that crap for the last six months, eight months, and it's still, you know, 315, 320-ish. Yeah. Uh, so to, for somebody to say, hey, if this continues without him having another meltdown, this is a $450 so stock. I don't think there's too many of us that would doubt it. What about the string of high-level departures, right? CFO leaves. No, he quit once already. Again. It's okay. Again, I, I, I had to do dot, <laughs> dot, dot, real again. Chart. <laughs> By the way. <laughs> stock would have been at 200 when that happened. What about T. Rowe? T. Rowe Price sold almost half their position in, in Q4. Big fund mm -hmm. bailing at least half their position or so. We care? I think a lot of that we is... Think, you guys really think there's that much upside in the stock? I mean, I don't get much don't. pushback. No, no, no but I, I just... I was I, surprised how much cash that... You know, yeah, but it's trading 56 building. times forward. I mean, it's not cheap. No. It's like no, a but, cheap. For, but GM's cheap and no one cares. Active is cheap. That's the one I like, actually, in the space. Really? Yeah. 14 times forward estimates, gain in market share, all about the electric car and this, the stuff inside. This analyst is coming up, Jason, on Power Lunch. There you go. Wow. The analyst who made the call nice. on Tesla is coming Jed? up on Power Lunch. <laughs> I said twice. <laughs> Jed is uh, coming Jed. on? Yes, Jed is. Is that a man or a woman? Jed Dorsheimer. <laughs> okay, he's, oh, he's a man. It's uh, Power Lunch. Oh, no. you, I right just there. read. 43% upside, okay. Well. Yeah, where's Ross Gerber? He's the only guy that we could ever Gerber. have on. We found another guy. Yeah. We've got one more guy who likes Tesla. All right.